Cybersecurity is not an entry-level job. You've probably heard this before, but is it true? Some people swear by this. They are absolutely certain that cybersecurity is not an entry-level job. But I get messages like this almost every week from people who watch my videos, follow my advice, but somehow they manage to land their first entry-level cybersecurity job. And I get these messages from all over the world. So something must be wrong. Maybe the game is rigged. You're being naive. Advanced late capitalism which advantages the most rich powerful people in the world or socialist so to help you understand the entry-level cyber security job market let me share with you this example from someone who watched my videos who was trying to get his first cyber security job his name is George he's in his early 30s and he works as a barista in New York City but he was sick of doing a dead-end job he wanted to do something he's excited about that has long-term career prospects but also pays a lot more money than his current job but the problem he had was that he doesn't have a university degree and he felt that it was impossible to change careers without going back to university which he couldn't really afford so he started searching online on how to move to cybersecurity but he was quickly overwhelmed with the amount of information that's available online everyone seems to say something different but that's when he stumbled upon my videos and he decided to take a leap of faith and start doing the Google cybersecurity cert he put his head down and managed to finish it in three months which in my opinion is quite impressive for someone who had zero technical knowledge and no degree Agree. He continued following the roadmap with the practical projects that I provided in this video, but he also followed my advice by starting to apply to jobs. His goal was to become a cybersecurity analyst, which he was preparing for. But this is where he got stuck, and this is where some of you might probably get stuck. He was applying to cybersecurity jobs as per my advice, but he was getting a lot of rejections. Some companies rejected him, others ghosted him, and that's really not nice. It doesn't feel good. And this is where self-doubt started to kick in, and he went to the bad habits of reading online about how cybersecurity jobs are hard to come by and how it's impossible to land your first cybersecurity job but you see this is the problem the search engines that you use will tell you exactly what you want to hear so if you're searching for problems the search engine will give you problems if you're searching for solutions the search engine will give you solutions so if you put in google search that cybersecurity is not an entry-level job guess what you will be shown results with people saying that cybersecurity is not an entry-level job so george actually left few comments on my videos asking me a few questions I won't be showing you these comments just to keep his identity anonymous but as I started responding to his comments and I asked him few questions I found few problems with his approach to applying to jobs which some of you are probably guilty of what I discovered was that George was really too rigid with his job applications he only exclusively applied to cyber analyst jobs he thought that because he was following the cyber analyst roadmap that cyber analyst is the only job he should approach this is a key mistake that a lot of people People make when they're trying to land their first cybersecurity job. So what I told him instead was to broaden his job search. Just put the word cyber when you do a job search and apply to literally everything from network security jobs to identity and access management jobs, even education and awareness. He didn't really have to target exactly that one job because the purpose of your first cybersecurity job is just to get your foot in the door. And if you want to continue to be a cyber analyst, I explained to him that studying and working through the roadmaps I provide should continue to happen even after you land your first cybersecurity job because that's how he can progress further and further in his career. The actual job he gets, especially the first one, doesn't have to 100% match the specialization that he was preparing for. But this is when his mindset started to shift and he had a little bit more flexible approach which resulted in him applying to a lot more jobs. So he was playing the numbers game. He wasn't just cornered into only applying to cyber analyst jobs. But that's when he also asked me should I apply for help desk positions. And my answer was it depends. I know there are people who insist that having a help desk job is an absolute must. In my opinion it's not. It can help but it's not a must. So in George's case he had hospitality experience. He was working as a barista which tells me he has good soft skills and customer experience skills which is the number one thing that we look for as hiring managers. A help desk job is just meant to give you some customer support skills and some soft skills more than anything else. So in George's case he didn't really need a help desk position. He decided not to apply to help desk roles. Now a few weeks passed and then he posted another comment on one of my videos telling me that he managed to land the job as a vulnerability management analyst which basically involves running vulnerability scans, generating report, following up with various teams. In his comment he was basically asking me is it a good job for him to start with? Will this lead to better cybersecurity jobs? And I was like yes this is a great start. It's a fantastic start. This is his foot in the door and now as he performs this job he can gain more skills 
but he can also continue to study for more practical sets that will open even more doors now that he has some cybersecurity experience on his CV. I noticed that the vast majority of people who reach out to me to tell me that they can't land their first cybersecurity job and that cybersecurity job is not an entry level job, when I look at their CV, they usually haven't done any practical projects and all they've done is entry level certifications such as CompTIA Security Plus, which is great, it's a good start, but you need to build on top of that. You need to do hands on projects, you need to do certifications with the lab components so you can gain more skills and have more confidence, which will show in the interview. Trust me on this one. Now, having said that, I never said it was easy. And frankly speaking, it shouldn't. No one should hand you a six figure salary just because you passed one entry level certification. But if you put in the work, if you watch the videos, if you actually follow the roadmaps and do the courses that I recommend, then you will significantly improve your chances of landing your first cybersecurity job. So if you've done something like the Google Cybersecurity Certificate or CompTIA Security Plus, then this is the video with the practical projects that can get you started, where you can build on top of the entry level certifications that you've done and hopefully will lead to your first cybersecurity job. And I'll see you there.